Hello and welcome to today's virtual card and a cuppa with me Fiona Witten. Um, for those of you who don't know me, I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator uh, based in Wokingham in the UK. Uh, just bear with me for a second. I'm just double checking that this is going live. Oh, I told this to go quiet. I have now. Oh, honestly. Um, right, so uh, that looks like it's live, which is the main thing. So I'm going to just crack on and let you know what's going on. So this morning we met up at the uh, Grange Chocolate Cafe over at the Home Grange Craft Village. Um, we do so twice a month on the first and the third Wednesday. So today being the third Wednesday in June. I can't believe it. Third Wednesday in June. Only another week and a bit uh, into July. My goodness, it's just totally crazy. But hey, so th this week, um, the kit that I took with me, and um, I'll show you the kit first. Was, um, so an envelope. We always have envelopes. Uh, we had a uh, Misty Moonlight card base, which I've cut um, so that we have a landscape card. So the other half of the A4 sheet would have been up there. So it's been cut at 10 and a half and then scored at 14.9 to create that landscape card. Um, for those who know me, um, I am not a, a hu I'm not a huge fan of having um, folds on the top of cards. I'd much rather have them down the side. Sometimes you can't help it. So, um, especially if I decide this later on, I'm gonna turn this to make a portrait card, in which case it will end up having the fold on the top. But anyway, so uh, there are also two pieces of basic white that are cut um, a half a centimeter shorter and narrower than the base front of the base card. So that gives us a nice um, panel that you can then stamp or um, just add to. There was a piece of the, this is the country lace paper. So again, this is a half a centimeter shorter and um, narrower. And then there are also two more pieces. One is for decoration um, and the country lace paper, I mean, you can use either side. So it's really up to, to you. And then there was a strip to go on the inside and also a um, a label. I'll share those um, how where they came from in a minute. So no matter what I do when it comes to cards in the cuppa, in inevitably someone asks, "Do you have a happy birthday?" So I decided that actually this week we were going to concentrate and just do birthday cards. So this was um, one of the cards fairly straightforward so simply um, glued the piece of basic white and the country lace paper to the card front bannered this piece so you literally cut up the middle and then from the point to the middle and from that point to the middle just to create that V shape stamped uh, hope your birthday is wonderful um, and that's from the hooray for surprises stamp set. So we used this stamp set quite a lot today. And then simply glued the paper on the inside. The envelope, um, one of the bits that was left from here is simply glued to the corner. So try not to waste too much or throw away too much. But there come, comes a point sometimes that you just kind of have to call it a day and say, I'm not going to go that mad. Um, this was uh, one of the ones which we stamped using the cake. So there's three stamps on here. So we have the, the cake with the cake stand. So there's two layers of cake. Um, there is the candle and there is the flame. So this is, the, this is that paper just simply cut into two strips. Um, so it's been glued on to the, to the panel of paper and the panel of basic white. And then we've stamped the 
cake and the um, candle. I would suggest that you, before you stamp this, make sure you're spacing because um, I seem to remember we started, one we started too high or too low and it ended up being slightly off. Um, so yeah, just sort of double check your placement before you do actually start stamping. You don't want to be putting your cake up here and then finding that your candle's actually going to be on the on the paper. Um, a little rhinestone on the front, and then rather than the cake, we uh, it was stamped four four candles. And any, anybody who's same age as me will understand the four candles um, joke. So it was an old um, comedy sketch. Anyway, so we've got the four colours. So we've got Misty Moonlight. We've got Petal Pink, uh, Smoky Sleigh and Daffodil Delight. So those were the four colours that I took with me this morning. And again, this time we put the cake on the front of the card. So that was the second card. Third card kept very simple and um, turn this piece of paper over. So we've got these, these dots. So again, simply glue the paper to the basic white to the card front, turn that one over and also glue that. Uh, I don't know if you can see, but um, there is actually some wink of Stella on each of those little dots. Just hoping that it kind of catches the, the light or catch the sparkle. Probably not knowing my luck. Um, and then we just stamped a Just For You and a little flower, which we put the um, a rhinestone on. So th that Just For You came from the um, So Sincere stamp set. So we used this one here, the Just For You. And I just spotted that happy birthday there. Actually, I might have to end up using that one today. So we'll see. Uh, right okay so um the paper paper just for you um we actually used a stamp and write marker to, with petal pink um stamp and write marker to color that so that was actually stamped in smoky slate and then simply colored and then the paper was put inside and then again we got the little flower on the front of the envelope and on the back of the envelope so that was the three cards um just wanted to mention quickly so the um the label came from the unbound unbounded love dies which look like this um so we actually used this one it this is designed to go with the unbounded love stamp set as well but we didn't use that today um but this um it's a really nice set for, for various labels and things to um, add to your card fronts. So we used those. And then what else did we use? I've already mentioned that we used the So Sincere and the Hooray for Surprises. You'll find all of these in the um, annual catalogue. And then also, as I said, we used the Country Lace paper. So this is what the Country Lace paper looks like. So we used this one which has this on the back. And then we also use this one, or, or I should say this one, but, but we actually use this bit, this side for the card. So again, you'll find that in the annual catalogue on page 51. So that was everything that we used. So let me bring back in my kit. And we need to decide what we're going to do. Now, I did quite like that happy birthday. The only thing with this is that it's a red rubber, so you can't actually see through it. Um, you, you, red rubber used to be my favorite, but then I realized that, yes, you're right, can't, can't see through it. So sometimes it's not as easy. Uh, I am actually gonna turn over that paper so I'm going to use the smoky slate side and I'm going to turn the paper so it's going to be a portrait so we're going to go that way but then again that's not going to fit then with 
let's just see what I was going to do. I was just make a masculine. I don't think that's going to work. So maybe as, as nice, nice as it is, I am not going to use that today. So I'm just going to stick to using the Hooray for Surprises. So I'm going to use the Make-A-Wish stamp. And I'm going to... I can't decide whether I'm going to just do candles or a cake. But I am going to do it this way around. As I said, I'm going to do it as a... Do we make that that way or not? Yes, I think I'm going to. Right, so... Um, ink, ink, ink. Oops. glue everywhere there we go right okay so starting with the misty moonlight I'm going to stamp my sentiment onto here I don't think this has actually been used that often this stamp set I want to make sure that that is on there well and truly I'm just going to simply stamp that in the vague hope that it's the right way, well, it is the right way round, but it's straight. Now let's go for it. No, oh, it's not, but hey, I could make another one, but it's not too badly out. So there's that. Then I do have this, and the question is, am I going to stamp the cake in the corner or oh, I could put that down actually you know what I could put it down there and then put the cake on top don't know that I want that as wide but anyway I'm going to start with that for start off with now I know that I've got so much space there that actually it's not going to be too bad so if we put that in the middle And hope that this actually you know what I'm gonna, I'm gonna stamp it on here first just to see what it looks like so we've got a blue cake I want a smoky slate candle I said I'm just trying it on here just to see how it turns out and then I'm going to do a daffodil delight flame yeah, that will be fine sometimes the color combinations don't quite work so I just want to double check that it will be it would be okay so I think it personally I think it is so I'm gonna put the make a wish that way that's gonna go there ink up cake and the cake stand and I'm actually going to use this is where I hope that I've cut everything straight I'm going to use the lines on the paper I don't know if you can see but there are like lines and dots um, so I'm going to use one of the lines to actually um, help me line up so I'm going to put it oops do a bit of huffing because I don't know that it's wet enough so I'm going to let's see put it on that line I think there and I've just realized that I've stamped it in smoky slate I was wondering why it was looking a bit of a weird color but you know what it, it works it's fine probably would help to actually put put things away right misty moonlight I guess it's going to be a misty moonlight candle then rather than a smoky slate one hey I'm going to put that on the top of that like so I'll put that away so that I don't end up doing my uh, flame in that 
that would be a bit of a disaster. So I want that in Daffodil Delight. Mm, can't quite see. Well, you can. You can see the flame. You just can't see the little the little bits going around the edges. Okay, so that is that. Now, do I really want that that white? I might just trim it down a bit so that it is within that space. So I just need to work out because so grid paper is really handy. So that's three centimetres wide. I can use, so I use my grid paper to measure it. And then I need a trimmer. So I'm going to take this down to three centimetres which will, let's see, try. Take a bit off this side and then take a bit off the other side in the vague hope I can sort of make it look a bit more equal with the dots and things. That's not too bad. So I've got that. Most of it's going to get covered up anyway. So that's going to go on here. That's going to go on there. So that then fits quite nicely under that. So I'm happy with that. So I'm just simply going to glue this on. Question is, oops, so I'm just throwing my glue around. Do I want to put that onto the white and then it onto the card, or just have it so that it sits on the card? And I do quite like it like that. I mean, it looks slightly smaller, so than it would normal so normally. So you've got a larger border but that's okay and then that will go on the top like that let's try it. just make sure that I'm I'm 100% about it before I glue it that works as well though I've got it so I may as well use it. So let's just put some glue on here. Stick that on there. Making sure that there is or trying to make sure that there is an equal border all the way around. You will find because I've turned the paper. If you, when you turn the paper over, sometimes you'll find that the edges are slightly raised simply because of the way um, your blade has cut through it. So I um, mean, you can use a block, bone folder, thumbnail, just to um, run down it, and that will um, flatten it so it doesn't look raised anymore. That's that. Now that can go on there. So you can put it on flat or you can put dimensionals on it. Obviously, the more um, height or depth that you put on your card, um, it will move from being a just a standard card to a, a large card for when it comes to postage. So you do need to be wary of that. So that's going to go on there, and I am going to put some dimensionals on that. So 
another sheet almost finished. I'll be using the edges next. So, um, another useful thing about having these dots is that you can count them. You've got one, two, three, four, and a bit, and that's got four and a bit. So that's roughly in the middle. So I'm quite happy with that. I'm going to get my wink of Stella out. Yeah, I think we're going to, we need to uh, certainly wink the uh, the candle. Like that. I could. I'm not going to do any of the others. Now, should we add some other embellishments? Since this is a masculine, I'm gonna. This can be a masculine card. Um, we can add some embellishments. No, we we forgot to. I, I forgot. No point in saying we. I forgot to take the rhinestones this morning, so that was not very clever. But most people have rhinestones, so it's not the end of the world. But because this is a masculine card, I have got some rather sweet new, she says, got to find them. And I've got those, which are the are grey. So, oh, there they are. So these are rather sweet. Take them out, they're called adhesive back textured dots. So they're rather sweet. Do I want to put one of them on? Maybe not. Maybe it'd be better just to stick with the grey. So these are basic grey and smoky slate pearls. I know you don't normally put pearls on a masculine card, but I think they're they're not shiny as such. So I think they will be fine. I need my take your pick tool. Um, I don't want huge ones. I just want one to go either side of this. Uh, let's see, kind of there. Just to add something to it. And then of course, we need to do both the inside and the um, envelope. So I mustn't forget that. I think I'm going to stick to my smoky slate cake. So there's that. Let's make sure I get the right ink this time round. So smoky slate. So I need that for Make sure I've got my envelope the right way around. So I'm going to put that on the bottom of the, the envelope and the bottom of the piece of basic white to go inside the card, like so. Let's close that up. You know, it's not normal to see a, a grey cake, but hey. No, it could be silver, I suppose. Let's put a blue candle on here. Like so. So this you need to be kind of careful because there's little grooves there that are supposed to stay white. But sometimes the ink will flood in there. So as long as you don't push it down too hard, um, you should be okay. Otherwise, you're going to have to clean it and um, ink up again. And try and just pick up a little bit. Right, candle, uh, and then we need a flame. I think someone got a bit excited with the misty moonlight this morning, so I seem to have got a patch of it on the daffodil. But hey, there we go. Mustn't forget the wink of Stella on the flame again. Let's 
that. That's that. So that's that done. And last but not least, this gets put inside the card. So a little bit of glue all the way around. So it's quite a quiet week on the stamping up front this week. Um, still got um, the temp additional 10% off um, stamp and die bundles going on. Um, that doesn't end until the 30th of June. And also there is 10% off the um, stamp and cut and emboss machines. Um, and that's both sizes, but both the, the standard size and the mini. Um, and the mini is also not just the white standard, but also the boho blue one that's been out for a little while. Um, so those are still available to the end, until the end of the month. Uh, today's the last day to order kits for uh, July. Um, so if you visit oakfieldcrafts.com and then click on the uh, classes and events will hover on that and then there will be a pop down which gives you some um the option for the um card and a cup of kits so you can just click on the july kits and say that closes tonight because um we need to get stuff in the post for those who um aren't able to make it in person and then obviously we've got to finish off the prep and everything for for those who can come uh, and then that's it really uh, I mean, next week is going to be a stamping and creating day. I will not actually be here in the UK. I will be doing it from um, the States. So it'll still be the same time, though. So don't worry, I'll still be live at 4.30. Um, it's just 8.30 in the morning from where, where I will be, which is fine. Um, beats doing it at 6.30 or even earlier, but hey. So these are the four cards from today. Well, the three cards that were the sample and the fourth one here that I've just just made. So they all look different. And um, as I said, next week, uh, stamping and creating. So I hope you can join me then at 4.30 UK time. Um, uh, otherwise, oh well, in, in any event, have a good week and I will see you then. Take care. Bye.